Morning everyone, day five, French Open 2019. Uh, you know what I'm gonna do, so we'll just get straight into it. Yesterday's matches, not many surprises, um, but there obviously were some odd results. Sitsi Pass looked like he was struggling against Delian. Uh, really lifted his game towards the end of that match. Looked like it was going to go to five, but he won that in three, sorry in four. Uh, Pelé wasn't a happy bunny yesterday. Mute played really well. It did look like Pelé was going to fight back. He took the third set and recovered from, I think it was 5-1 or 5-2 down in that fourth set. Uh, got back on serve and then blew it, got, got broken again. Nadal comfortable, Goff uncomfortable. Nishikuri, I thought, would need five sets against Songa. He only needed four. Londero beat Gasquet, who is not 100% yet. Uh, what else have we got? Krijanovic in five. I thought that would be close. Kabalis Bayena. Don't know what happened to Cole Schreiber. Uh, I wasn't following that myself. I did see on the scoreboard that there was a medical timeout. I assumed that was for Cole Schreiber, but I'm told it was Mahu. So don't know what was going on. And also don't really know what happened with Berrettini in that one. Good performance from Rude, but that's definitely a bit of a shock. Good win for Dimitrov. Five sets against Chilic. He was 2-1 down. And the fourth set went to a tie break, so he was close to going out in four. Turned it around and won in five. Favrinka didn't have any issues with Garen. Um, that was a surprise. I thought that would be a lot more competitive. Federer, obviously, very comfortable. Predicted a long match um, for Pair, and he came through 11 9 in the fifth. Great match there. Uh, I saw on Twitter a few people thinking Domino was going to beat Carino Booster. I didn't think it would be, be as easy for the Spaniard, but he gets through losing just five games. On to the ladies. Spitalina, very easy match. Opponent didn't turn up. Kudmatova through, as expected. Merton's comfortable. Herzog uh, did really well for hard. Bit of a messy match. Uh, I've got a video of that of me trading that one that I'll get up when I get a minute. Herzog came through um, in three. Mugrutha comfortable, Stevens easy. Kanepi struggled a little bit in that one. Lost uh, the first set in a tie break and I think was down. Trush got broken at the start of the third. Came through 7-5. Suarez Navarro, I predicted she wins in three and she did. Disappointed with Manella, thought she would be more competitive against Sevastova. Uh, Sevastova actually never looked like losing that one. Comfortable for Pliskova. Uh, Martic, I thought would win, but expected a lot closer match. Very poor from Ladanovic. Maybe the pressure of uh, expectation of the local crowd just affected her brain there. Easily done. Bondrasova, comfortable. Contra, I thought, would win in three and did. Vekic, I thought, would win in three and did. And Burton's, right at the end, retired. Thankfully, she retired in the first set. So if you were on Betfair, um, nobody lost on that one. Okay, on to Thursday's matches. <laughs> Before I start these, normally when I'm researching matches, um, I'll have, I do everything the same way, it's the same routine. The way I interpret, obviously, the stats varies from match to match, depending on the players. Normally, my confidence level is really high, and certainly the last four days I've been really happy with uh, the predictions and, and everything else. I did most of the research for these last night, and I just got the feeling, I, I don't know what it is. I get this occasionally, and thankfully it is pretty rare, when I look at what I've written, I just think that, that might go that way, but confidence is low. And for some reason, I get you would expect to get that on individual matches. I get it on days. Um, very, very rare, but I just and I can't put my finger on what it is. Maybe I'm picking up on something subconsciously. I don't know, but I definitely had that feeling last night. So I'm actually going to start on the ladies because that's the ones I was doing first. And I'll try and explain what I mean. 
and then you can use the information as you see fit. Start off with uh, Alexandrova and Stoza. It's the first meeting. Overall results favour Alex. Stoza has won 8 of 21 this year, which isn't good. Alex has a really poor clay record, just two wins from her last 10. So we're not looking at superstars on clay courts. Stoza's form being poor for months. She played well in the last round to beat Stritchka in his straight sets. Alex also played well in the last round to beat Buzanescu. Tough one to assess, no shit. Stoza's got a good French Open record. Made the third round last year, fourth round in 2017 and the semis in 2016. If she can maintain a form from the last round, she should win back Stoza around 1.95. Seems okay, follows the stats. But they're both in poor form coming into this tournament. It really, it really can go either way. And I just look at it, I think, my well, Stoza, she's been crap for ages. Uh, and I'm talking about back in the below evens. And maybe maybe that just set the tone for the rest of the research. Maybe, it, it, I don't know, maybe it was just that one. I stand by what I've done. I research the matches the same way every day, look at the same uh, breakdown of the stats. Everything's the same and it's consistent. And day after day after day, 95% of the time, it works out pretty well. Not sure about that one. So I would say... The theme for today is be careful with your stake size. Okay, next one was the same. Uh, Bolsova and Castella first meeting. That doesn't help. Overall results favour Bolsova. Clear results quite even. Uh, she beats Vonareva in straight sets. A slight underdog in the last round. Castella needed three sets to beat Lucky Loser. Good chance of three sets. Some value on Bolsova. Lay Castella around 1.5 and re remove liability at 2. That's actually not too bad. I'm pretty happy with that one. Um, bit of a difference in the rankings, but not on the clay rankings. So I, I, I am giving Bolsova the uh, the slight edge there, but because Castella can perform really well on clay on her day, and hasn't been in terrible form recently, it certainly should be three sets, and I wouldn't like to pick... Um, an outright winner in that one. I have gone for Bolsova on my uh, the second round predictions that I've put on the blog. That's mainly just value. Next, Osaka Azarenka. This didn't help. Um, head to head, 1 1. Most recent was May last year, Osaka in two sets. Basically, on this one, Osaka lost the opening set in the last round, 6 love. What the futon. Azarenka had that awful opening set with Ostapenko. I think there were nine breaks of serve out of ten games. Difficult to have massive confidence on, on either player. Um, because Osaka came back strongly after that six love set. Did, how many games did she lose? Did I record it? I don't know. Did she lose three games in the next two sets or something? It wasn't much. Um, oh no, set two went to a tie break. So yeah, not impressive. Um, Favouring Osaka to take it. It's going to be three sets and I want at least one nine five before I get in there. Hard to have a lot of confidence on those two, on that matchup. So that was the first three that I'd gone through. I think, Jesus, this is going to be hard going. Um... After that, it wasn't too bad, to be fair. Maybe I was tired. I've been doing like 18-hour days since Saturday. And maybe that just knocked the confidence in uh, in the actual prediction, which it shouldn't do because the predictions have been good. I'm rambling. I'll get on with it. Match is starting an hour and a half. What else have we got? Sydney Cover, I think, will do well there. Um... Mark it 1.5 on Sakari, way too low. Obviously, Sinekova has had some issues. She has started playing better. Uh, oops, def. Where's she gone? <laughs> Definite value on Sinekova there. Good chance of three sets. 
uh, worth a lay on Sakari, sort of 1.35-ish. So I take Wang, another close one, slightest of edges to Wang. Uh, Switek actually has the better clay results. Although she plays a lot of ITFs, uh, a mix of ITFs and, and WTA. So I'm going to go with the value on Wang there, lay Switek if she gets the first break. Machova, I think we'll do well against Begu. 153 is way too low. Uh, Begu, very capable clay player, although hasn't shown it this year. She was pretty comfortable in the last round. Uh, I'm looking for a higher price on Machova. Ideally, wait to, for her to get broken at the start. I think she got broken against Contavit right at the start. Uh, took a while to get a serve going. Let's hope she does the same today. No value on Barty at that price. She should come through reasonably comfortably. Hollins can give most players a bit of an issue, but Barty's really flying this uh, this season. Serena, no issues. Petkovic should be competitive there. A bit of value on her. Good chance of three sets against Say, but favour... Sue I say to take that one. Garcia should be comfortable enough. She got a good record in the last couple of years. She reached the fourth round last year, quarterfinals in 2017, but no value there unless she loses the first set. Kazakina played well in the last round. Puig actually has better clay results this year, but that's not a surprise the way Kazakina has been playing. I think it can go to three, but I'm giving the Russian the edge on that one. Uh, what did she do last year? I don't think I wrote it down. That's fine. Not a problem. Uh, this year she's reached the third round in Rome. She played well in... The first round, as I said, I'm looking for 185, 1.9-ish on Kazakina. Um, Serenko, priced a little bit low. She leads for one of the head-to-heads. Uh, Krunic won the most recent one, but that was in 2017 on a hard court. Serenko won there on the clay match, but that was back in 2012, so nothing uh, significant there. Serenko beat Bouchard in the last round very easily. Vekic came through the last round when Gavrilova retired. Looking for 1.7 on Serenko. Oops, Halep should be comfortable there. Uh, and Keys also should be comfortable. So again, it's uh, looking like a one-sided evening session for the ladies. Let's have a look at the men's. Edmund did well yesterday to finish off. Uh, his delayed match, I think he took seven minutes to win the two games that he needed just to finish off Chardy. Cuevas is the stronger clay player. Uh, he's, he's priced too low there. Let me just have a look. Recent results are actually significantly stronger for Cuevas. Uh, I think if we can get him at 1.9, that's got a good chance, but it's not going to be over in three sets. Team should be comfortable um, overall results are quite even although Bublik's best results are in challenges against obviously weaker opponents I don't see any value there 1.03 is always worth a lay if you want to give that a try but don't get too greedy Caruso Simon better over, overall results for Caruso but again another one who plays mainly challenges Simon, decent French Open record. Uh, Caruso's came, came through the qualifying rounds. We need a slow start for Simon to get something backable. Uh, ideally, he either gets broken or goes on to lose that first set. Uh, be ideal to back him a set down. I don't think Simon's going to win in straight sets. Djokovic, no value. Interesting one there. Um... Is it Bonchetri? How do you say that? 
be something like that, some bollocks like that, wouldn't it? So first meeting, overall results slightly favour at Bench, let's call him Bonch. Uh, he's gone through the qualifying rounds. Easy win over Norrie, who was terrible. Like, dog shit terrible in the last round. Clear results were actually better, so there's some value on him. I would expect Lajovic to take it. Um, back him. You could try laying Lajovic round about 1.2. 1.25 and remove some liability 1.5 ish or back him when he loses the first set. Zverev, you never really know what he's going to do these days. Um, doesn't have an amazing Grand Slam record. Ema played well in the last round. I don't see Zverev losing this one. Will he drop a set? I really don't see him dropping a set, but you never know. He needed five sets to beat Millman, so. You know, he's, he's not at the very top of his game, but he's still fifth in the world. Uh, Struff played well in the last round to beat Shapovalov uh, in three sets. I think this will be close. The values on Albert. Four or five sets got to favour the German to come through. I've put a want to back him around 1.75. I'd like, ideally, to wait for him to get broken first. Uh, but certainly anything over 1.75 uh, will get my interest. Karlovic played well in the last round to beat Lopez. Um, serving pretty well. What have we got? He was broken just once in the four sets in that last match. Thompson also served well, so there's not going to be many breaks of serving this one. So we've got some value on Karlovic. Really can go either way, but I would give him the edge. I could look to maybe lay Thompson around about 1.4 and remove some liability at 1.8. Four or five sets are likely. Badasco should come through there. Um, I think with it being best of five, there's a chance he's going to lose a set. It's more likely to be the third set when he's 2-0 up. Really don't see him losing that one. Koric should be comfortable against Harris. The set's probably going to be reasonably close, but he'll do just enough to get through. Monfils, probably the same against Manorino. Not that much between their clay results in the last year or so. I can't see Manorino winning that one. Nishioka needed five sets. I thought he would uh, win that match in the, la in the last round. Um, but wasn't that impressive. Del Potro started slowly. It looked like he was going to really struggle. Um, but after he lost that first set, I think it was an early break of serve and he just never recovered from it. Uh, had chances but couldn't just get the break back but controlled the next three sets. Fanini Del Bonis should be a good one. Fanini has the edge. Uh, he leads 4-3. Uh, in their previous games, they're actually three all on clay. Overall results quite even in the last 12 months and in 2019. Very slight edge to Fanini in that one. Um, he has the better French Open record, made the fourth round last season. Should be a long match, four or five sets. Some value on Del Bonis. Back Fanini above 1.85. Okay, some value there on Barret. Uh, what have we got? Chachanov hasn't had, sorry, Kachanov, not Chachanov. Kachanov has had some tough draws on clay this year, which means that his results on paper don't look that great. He did reach the fourth round last year. He really should win this, but I think he's going to drop a set along the way. You could try a lay on him at the start and remove some liability at 1.25. Batista Agu leads the head-to-heads with Fritz 2-1. However, the last time they played was on clay um, earlier this month and Fritz won in three. Overall, it's all well blue. Just had a stroke. 
Overall results are slightly better for Agu. Fritz has better clay results in the last 12 months. Uh, Bautista Agu, better French Open results. Third round last year, fourth round in the previous two years. Uh, I don't think it's going to be an easy match for him. I think he will come through. And I'm going to wait for Bautista Agu to lose the first set before backing him. And the last one, Pui, very focused in the last round, uh, is obviously here to have a good tournament. When he is focused, he is an excellent clay, clay player. He just hasn't shown that for quite a while. Clizan had a good fight back in the last round. Wasn't that impressive, certainly in the first three sets. And it was a late break in that third set that really destroyed uh, destroyed his opponent. Um, Kukushkin it was. I couldn't remember. Wrote it down, thankfully. Uh, Pui to take that one. Oh, back him over 1.8 or back him if he loses the first set. Bit of rambling in that one. Hopefully, actually, when, when I've gone through them again, uh, confidence is reasonably high on most of them. It's just those first few that, that threw me a little bit last night. I thought it's going to be one of those days. Good luck with those. Again, we're in the chat room. Uh, some good information shared in there over this tournament so far. I'm sure that will continue today. And I will see you tomorrow.